Hello guys and welcome to the mouse joystick tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys my settings and how to place everything. Uh, I am currently changing from playing uh, mouse joystick into an actual joystick and that is why I'm doing this tutorial. Because before I leave the mouse joystick world, I would like to share with you guys how I did it. And Well, here I go. So first of all, go into controls and most important thing that you wanna do is obviously put here control mode mouse joystick and then go to mouse joystick and right here you will barely very 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 likely uh, probably a hundred percent sure by default you will have it on simplified mode now before we continue I want to show you guys the difference bet between simplified and standard and why I highly recommend you to use standard instead of simplified so right now I change it to, to simplified let's just continue and and if I am in simplified if I move my my mouse forward like up the pitch uh sorry then the nose of my plane will go up if i go if i pull down it will go down and it's very straightforward the issue about simplified is this i want to roll i want to roll my plane it doesn't allow me i it, it, that's the, my limit that's all it is allowing me to do i want to roll my plane it's not letting me that's the limit. If I want to roll, I will have to use my A uh, uh, keyboard bind. Yeah, sorry, my yeah, oh, my keyboard, A W S D. You know, uh, I want to roll right. I will have to use my my D, which makes no sense. Why would I need to do that? Now, if I change my settings into standard mode, mouse joystick, standard mode, close, continue. Now, if I pull uh, first of all, if I pull up, now it will pitch down. If I pull down, it will pitch up like a real joystick. And now it behaves like a real joystick. So now, if I want to roll, all I have to do is pull right. You see? Very simple. Now, I know that you probably, a lot of you are, are, are questioning why can I move my, my corset right here, like all over the place. It's because I'm using head tracking. Uh, uh, but before I got this head tracking, I was m looking at my camera around with a C. So there's a little trick that maybe a lot of people don't know. But let's say that there is somebody over there. You no, know, by, by, I don't know, that, those little houses right there. So, oh, I see that guy over there. I'm going to pull my plane to that direction. And now I'm going to continue watching. Because that last action I told my plane to do, it will continue doing it while I press C. So it doesn't matter how long I press C, I will continue doing it. Now, I can continue flying my plane while pressing my keyboard. And it is continued, it is still doing what I asked my mouse joystick to do. You see? It just, and I can just change direction with my with my keyboard and that's one of the ways I dogfight many times so I don't lose my enemy let's say oh my enemy is behind me and I'm gonna make a tight turn so I do a, I go ahead and make a tight turn and I look behind me how he's and I just modify the the way I'm turning with my A and D key you see no problem no problem whatsoever I can continue turning without an issue I can keep an eye around me I can look behind me and can look on the right and all of this I'm doing it with my mouse no issue whatsoever so after a lot of practice all of these will come natural to you without a single problem and it's a lot of help also on my settings I have that if I use scroll wheel I will be able to look up and down on my nose so you should be able to see that and that is right over here camera control right here head movement upward downward wheel wheel down wheel up and middle mouse button to reset the axis as you can see reset the axis it's a very simple thing and it's a fantastic thing and remember uh, you want to keep always relative control on so it stays there example what i mean by this is like imagine i don't have a head tracking and i'm looking forward right and i move my my wheel up it will automatically do this and it will stay there fixed like right there you know and then I move my wheel down I move my my mouse wheel down and it will come down and so on and so on these are little tips that it will help you aim example you wanna I don't know this guy you're on a turn fight and this guy is right below your your nose and you're you are not able to see him so thanks to your mouse wheel you're able to see him now and boom get the shot you know 
it's very simple uh, it's a really cool tool is a really good t uh, tip for all the mouse joystick users now let's go back into mouse joystick this right here is all about preference I highly recommend you everybody to play around these settings uh, this at the end these are my settings the one I found more uh, 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 I don't know this is like my sweet spot I loved how it performs like this it feels so good natural and uh, yeah the the rotor option here basically means how much rotor you want in your actions and I highly recommend you to play with this one the most and yeah and the other ones uh, example the screen size is just all about pr preference you see look I made the screen little smaller little, little square how do I modify that square very simple I go back to that place and remove the square now it's a circle I personally don't like the circle for some reason I just don't I, pr I prefer the square version one and then, yeah and that's pretty much it you you want to play around these the most this is like your most important tool everything else is, is whether you wanna for example trimming I personally don't find myself in need of trim on mouse uh, joystick why is that because look at this in, tr in, in trimming is the theory of trimming is being able to maintain uh, you, you know lo your your plane straight without touching your joystick right so right now I'm gonna move my joystick a little sorry my mouse a little bit more to the right now a little bit a little bit up a little bit right right there let's see I trimmed my aircraft <laughs> you see what I mean anyway it's again like I said it's a lot about preference if you guys like that that tool you can use it if you don't I don't really think it's necessary for all the mouse joystick users to be able to trim your your aircraft perhaps on some you you, you can but I honestly don't think it's really that necessary at least don't bother yourself with that information at the moment now let's go back and um, let's see if there's anything else that I can show you these are all it's Spanish by the way I'm sorry about that uh, hopefully it translates into English when you are uh, when you put it but uh, yeah what else what else what else I think that's it I mean I think that's the most important part I hope we I was able to help you guys I'm gonna leave uh, that file on my description so you guys can download it and yep uh, here how about I do to finish a little tutorial on taking off oh, take off is very easy on sim all you gotta do is start slowly and control the rudder of your plane with your E and Q uh, which is how I control my rudder so and then I start faster and then I just web and I am not losing control I'm, I'm perfectly fine and now I start pulling up a little bit and you see how the plane start pulling to the left it's pulling to the left then I will just pull on the opposite side a little down and that's it very simple no problem whatsoever now how about we land real quick using uh, you know uh, mouse joystick let's first of all uh, do a little here little tight turn right here yeah actually I'm not gonna use my head tracking here I'm gonna do a little turn using only mouse 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 let's see I need to pull a little bit more here I come, I'm gonna reduce my speed alright we're coming too fast but it's fine we can just make another turn real quick over here now let's do an right here, put the flaps down pull the gear down we're coming in lower the plane and we just want to let it touch very slowly very nicely and boop, that's it now I raise the flaps so I don't bounce out around there we go and use my amazing brakes called gods and that's how you land very simple very easy now let's use the rudder to stop completely and voila there we go there we go very easy I hope you guys like this it's very simple 
tutorial and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one I'll probably do a, a actual joystick tutorial too but we'll see cheers thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like subscribe and yeah till the next one